Saturday morning, did you contact the framer? No. When you contacted the framer on Friday, how did you reach the framer? I had to leave a voicemail message. And he returned your call? He did not. No. Did not? Well, no. How did you reach the framer to set up an appointment for Friday? That had been done previously. Shh. She had arranged the, uh, my wife had arranged the meeting with the framer, and she had taken care By of it. By phone? By phone. When? Maybe the day before, maybe two maybe. days before. It was earlier that week. Okay. So you had his phone number. Correct. And he wasn't there on Friday when he was supposed to be. So Correct. you went out for dinner. Correct. And left the painting in the car. My next question is, did you call the framer in the morning? I don't recall that I did. Well, what? Okay. So you didn't call the framer in the morning. And then at 11 o'clock, you went to drop the car off at his place to be detailed. Correct. Yes, Your Honor. And you picked your wife up in the Jeep because Correct. the car was going to be all day at the... At the detail, yes. So all we could day. go get some lunch. It was four, all four or five or four hours. hours. Four yeah. or five hours. Something like, yes, three to five hours. And it didn't dawn on either one of you to take the painting out of the trunk of the car, maybe to find another framer, maybe to call the framer, or did you forget that it was in the car? Oh, no, we knew it was there, absolutely. Well, then, Mrs. Vanderdee, why would you leave what purports to be a painting worth $3,600 in the trunk of a car when you have another car that's not going to be left in the hands of strangers? Yes. Your Honor, respectfully, I've moved art so many times I can't even keep count. My work, other people's work. I'm a professional artist that is shown in galleries, museums. I, this is not an advertisement. Okay, but... That's a very simple question. I, Why would you not, if you're taking a car that's going to be left in the hands of dozens of people who are going to have something to do with the car? For instance, if I were a jewelry maker and I had a necklace worth $3,600 and I transported jewelry all the time, but if I were taking my car to be detailed and my husband was picking me up in his car, I would take the necklace out of the car and put it in the car that he was using to pick me up because otherwise I would be stupid to leave a piece of valuable stuff in the trunk of a car that's going to be taken care of by strangers. And you say this is worth thousands of dollars, so I don't understand why you didn't put it in the Jeep. Uh, two reasons. One, the more often I handle the piece, the more likely it is to be damaged. It was not going anywhere. I had secured it in such a fashion that unless it was tampered with by someone aside from myself, it was going to be absolutely fine. Second. <laughs> Evidently not. Well, so you made a mistake. Well, just a sec. So you made a mistake. Had they stayed out of the trunk as we requested, it would not have been a mistake. It, it was not. Just a was second. Not a just a them. second. You're not following me. I mean, you, you understand that this is going nowhere for you. I'm telling you, it's going nowhere because it doesn't sound logical to me. It doesn't sound logical to me that if you said to somebody who was standing there with the clipboard, "I want everything else detailed in the car." but I don't want you to go in the trunk, or don't detail the trunk, or don't go in there and clean the trunk. Mm -hmm. And you think that as a result of that, because they went into the trunk to put what they had found in the car, in your trunk, that they're responsible for $3,600 for your painting? We do think that. Yeah, I, uh, yes ma'am, I do think that. Well, you're wrong. May I ask a question? You, you may not ask me a question. Okay. You may not ask me a question. I just find the whole thing ridiculous. I don't see how two intelligent people would leave a piece of art that you say I securely, snugly, not rolled up in anything. He has a whole different story, by the way. You have to understand his whole different story and his answer that he's going to tell me. You don't know what happened to your car. All you know is when you got the painting back, it was damaged. Correct? I'm not talking to your wife. I'm talking to you. Correct. When you saw the painting, it was damaged. Correct. So you don't know how it happened, right? Technically, I mean, I know she no. did not do it, but... You don't know that at all. I, tr I trust what she says. I, listen, you may, but I'm not married to her. I get it. She's also yeah. helped me move I don't care. pieces of work. I don't care. You say you trust her, but you weren't there to see what happened to the painting. And according to your wife, neither was she. Correct? Correct. Good. Now, so neither of you were there... When it was damaged. When correct. it was damaged. That's according to you. Not according to him.